Yo, yo, I am chilling at the beach right now. Check out this beautiful view. I apologize for not making many videos lately. Whenever I plan on taking a break, it takes me longer than I plan to get back into making videos. And, you know, I've realized momentum is such a big thing. And this video is kind of just uh, getting back into momentum. I heard a quote about writing once, and it was something like, most people think the purpose of writing is to get something in your head and out into reality. But this person had a quote, it was something like, one major purpose to writing is actually to generate, generate ideas. Just the act of like sitting down and writing creates ideas to, for more things to write about. And I find that the same for videos too. Once I'm here at the beach filming this video, maybe on my drive home, a new video idea will hit me. Or maybe in the comments of this video, a new video will hit me. Or just the act of me going here and filming, boom, I could get my momentum back. It's pretty funny. Um, I've been making videos for about eight years now, nine years maybe. And my most viewed video is actually about dreaming. It's actually about lucid dreaming. It has over 300,000 views. And it's, it's funny because it was kind of a random topic I was randomly like really into for like a month. I made that video, didn't think much of it, and it like blew up. Um, but you know, sometimes if, when something does really well, uh, maybe it's a sign from like God or the universe, hey, Luke should do something more with dreams. <laughs> so uh, I want to kind of just do a stream of consciousness talking about dreams. So I've been writing my dreams down almost every single morning for about three years, maybe longer. And there were periods even like seven years ago where I was writing down my dreams, but studying, I've read some books on dreams and I've like, I've written my dreams down almost every morning for like three years. So this is something I've dived pretty deep into. One thing that's happened recently, and I don't remember this being a thing like two or three years ago or in the past, but often something in my dream will materialize that day, you know, that, that next day. And it's, it's been very freaky or synchronous. And while, while in the past, sometimes I've had very significant, like prophetic or psychic dreams, um, lately they've, just, they've been like mild. One quick example is a couple weeks ago, I had a dream with this kind of family friend uh, this person I haven't seen in like four or five years. This isn't someone like I think about. Um, in any ways, this person was in my dream. And later that day I got dinner with my parents and my mom brought up this person. And this isn't a person like my mom would bring up. So, it, you know, it was like the odd, the, the, the odds that it was just pure chance. I dreamed about this person and my mom bringing this person up are like 0 0.0001, you know? But that's just one example. And I've been having lots of these very mild, yeah, maybe prophecy isn't the right word, but it, it, in a way it is, yeah, it's, it's like a mild prophecy. It's like something in my dream shows up that very next day. And, you know, that was kind of a specific direct thing, but it's been more so, sometimes it's a specific direct thing like that, but it's been more so uh, more like the theme in my dream. For example, sometimes when I think my, uh, dream about basketball. Uh, when I was in high school, I was on the basketball team uh, for a year and that was a time of, like, that was like the first time in my life where I was extremely disciplined about something. And whenever I have a dream about basketball, usually later that day, there's some theme in my mind or maybe it's a day where I'm like really disciplined or I need to push myself to go to the gym or something like that. But it's like often the themes in my dream are s later play out later in that day. And when I'm going to bed and looking at the dreams I wrote, I'm like, wow, this is kind of crazy how so much lately my dreams have like unfolded somehow. That said, you know, don't take dreams too seriously. I I'm, I'm curious what your guys' uh, experiences are with your dreams and don't take dreams too seriously. Sometimes they're just chaos. Sometimes it's just random. You know, so don't have some crazy dream and be like, oh, this is going to happen, <laughs> you know. Um, sometimes, you know, I kind of see dreams as like thoughts. Sometimes they're kind of just random, but sometimes they're very synchronous with life. One of my biggest lessons with dreams is I think when most people interpret their dreams, if they dream of like a friend, maybe they they think about, oh, this, this something that happened in this dream has to do with my friend in external life. But 
what I found most of my dreams, it's the dream is all a symbol of your own self, your own consciousness. So if you dream of a friend, it's like, what does that friend represent to you? You know, if you dream of Obama or Trump, what does Obama or Trump represent to you? So maybe if you dream of someone with a big ego, that's like your inner, that's like the unconscious speaking to you. Hey, there's some theme that has to do with your ego. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So that's when I analyze my dreams, I'm thinking, what is the symbolism here? What is the theme here? I don't think, oh, that I need, I dreamed about this friend, so there's something to do with that friend, but it's like, what does this friend represent to me? And what's the symbolism here? And then what's the theme here? And what, I, I, I kind of ask out loud to myself when I'm analyzing my dreams, what is the unconscious trying to communicate to me here? What is God trying to communicate to me here? And often I do find some insights or lesson and it's very insightful. A hundred years ago, Jung and Freud were both really into analyzing dreams. And if you've looked into Jung's work, he's, he had tremendous success analyzing his clients' dreams where they'd have big insights and life, life changing insights and get lots of, uh, healing or success heal from trauma like but the weird thing is like if you look at most youtube channels self-development psychology spirituality dreams isn't really in fashion right now you know and dreams are so important so i, I kind of want to bring that back with this video is consider writing down your dreams every day and what i do is i'm like too tired in the morning to analyze my dreams i'll write them down in the morning and then like forget about them and then, then later that night i'll look at what i wrote down and then analyze it and see what synchronicity is there, um, what insights are there, what is my unconscious or the collective unconscious trying to communicate to me. Um, so I analyze it later in the day, but um, late, so lately I've been having like very mild prophecies. In the past, I've shared this in a video like nine years ago. I'll, I'll link to that video and put it on the outro card or you know the card thing up here. But when I met my friend Fred in 2012, the very day I met him, I had a dream that night and it felt like an angel visited me in that dream and told me this person is going to be a very important person in your life. And you know, I've just met this person once um, and then I had this dream and it, the, the energy in that dream, I wonder what's going on here. But um, anyways, the energy in that dream it felt like an angel visited me. There was some like celestial energy in that dream. <laughs> um, and it ended up becoming true. Me and Fred ended up becoming roommates for three years. And we started, me, me, Fred, and another guy, Brian, started that whatever YouTube prank channel, which blew up. And, you know, that was a very significant period of my life. But it was crazy how in that dream, God or the unconscious communicates to me, this is going to be an important part in your life. And it became true. So, you know, I've learned to listen to my dreams. Another example is when I was in therapy for my porn addiction in 2016, the second time I saw my Jungian therapist, he analyzed my dream and it was about, and how he broke it down resonated so strongly with me. And if I was trying to analyze it myself, like I couldn't have done it, but I guess, you know, he's a Jungian analyst. He studied this and analyzed his dreams for a living. He broke my dream down so well and it resonated so truthfully with me. And it was about my sexuality. It was like my sexuality was like going crazy. And and then the dream was like becoming controlled. And that was kind of my journey of porn addiction therapy. It was like this amazing dream and this beautiful dream that he interpreted. And uh, sometimes with my clients, I, I'm a life coach, uh, goldjackloop.com. And I've started analyzing some of my clients' dreams too. I'm not the most experienced at it, but um, I've, I have had you know, some insightful sessions doing that. And, you know, if anyone is interested in doing some like dream analysis with me, <laughs> uh, hit me up goldjackaluke.com for my coaching service. This video is kind of just a stream of consciousness. I wonder if my dreams are kind of extra clear or like more direct from the unconscious, like something happens in my dream and then it materializes in some way the next day that like that theme or that person um, maybe it's because of my sexual retention. I do feel like psychologically and spiritually I'm quite healed lately. I, like, I don't know, I feel quite good about life and like insecurities and fears, you know, you know, are very diminished in my life right now. I feel quite good. Maybe I have like a kind of a direct 
ping from the unconscious or God. Uh, I don't know. Dreams are crazy. I wish more people talked about them. And, um, and again, don't take dreams too seriously. Sometimes maybe a theme in a dream will play out over a long period of time or sometimes a theme, sometimes dreams just like fuck with us and it's just like past trauma coming to fight. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? So don't take dreams too seriously. But at the same time, there is unconscious. Sometimes the unconscious or God speaks to us in our dreams. And I hope you enjoyed this dream of consciousness. Uh, putting your awareness more on your dreams. Consider writing your dreams on every morning. But yeah, check the outro card and and the end screen and I'll put some other um, videos about dreams make sure to check them out uh, thank you for watching I really appreciate you guys hope you enjoyed this view hope you enjoyed this video huge thank you to my patrons I appreciate all of you we're all gonna make it